Welcome back. Well, you join me on the River Medway on my maiden voyage with this Koa kayak. It's a folding kayak that they make and um, yeah, I hadn't even heard of one until they emailed me. So, so far so good. I was a bit wary putting it in. <laughs> then quickly came across a lock so I had to get out and in again because <laughs> I had to put in in the town. But uh, I've just passed the last bit of the town and other than that aeroplane, it's quite peaceful. Wind's picked up, now I'm out on this open stretch and um, I'm going to go a few miles and try and find a uh, place to camp. Now I've picked out somewhere on a map but uh, I might not make it there, I might get there too early, uh, might not be suitable for camping at all but there's a bit of an island there, quite a big island actually, so we shall see. But uh, yeah, first time kayaking in, God, over 20 years. <laughs> it's all been canoes. So, getting used to it again. a little bit smoky at this lock. You can probably hear some chainsaws the other side there, a wooded area being cut back. But um, I thought I'd take the opportunity to have a little bit of a snack, a bit of lunch. I've only been going an hour or so I guess really. Um, yeah, making good headway. Uh, once I put in here, um, there's only one other lock and that's close to where I might camp. So, we'll see what's around there. This is kind of mainly farmland. Well, that was another kayak run closed for some reason. Not I would have gone down it anyway. <laughs> Don't have that confidence. Only just got the confidence to put the camera back out on here after the last time. Yeah, I like playing that clip. <laughs> Both good and bad memories. Right, so we're on the run to the uh, next and maybe last lock. Things should get a lot quieter up here. It's nice to be back out on the water, first time since Norway. And uh, I'm definitely getting more confident with this kayak. I've just been having a look around and weighing up my options here. Sorry about the wind. I can just about see 
the boat I passed at the start of the island from the lock here. Um, so I don't really want to be near them. Um, over on that side where I got out, there's a tractor moving around. So who knows how long that could be going on. Now there's a nice spot in the lock here um, where the uh, environmental agency have clearly been doing some burning. So there's a fire pit, but it seems a bit brazen. Now I took a little wander over the other side of the island and it looks like there's a nice spot probably from other canoe people have made and a little, this little fire spot just over by the water there. It seems a little quieter. That side is closer to a road uh, across some farmland but um, I think it's just kind of a lane. I don't think it'll be noisy. So I think that's the best option because I don't want to be carrying on as um, I've got 23 hour parking. So. I need to be back um, before 10 a.m. It's a lovely spot actually, nice and peaceful. I've got that peace of mind as well of being the other side of the island from the lock if someone comes to use it or if uh, some agency officers come along or something. A bit more out of the way here. Just to show you what I've brought with me, I've got my 40 litre dry bag, uh, which I've not used in a while actually. I've got the 100 litre one now, or 120, I can't remember, but that wouldn't fit in this kayak. Uh, so I've stuffed stuff in there. My jacket and my tent are in here. I've got my chair separate, needed some comfort for these long evenings, and my flotation aid there. I've also got a camera bag over there as well, but um, this will fit in easy to be honest. Um, on the front end it's fine to get a bigger bag, on the back end you have to think about it a bit more because there's a spreader bar in there. My spot here is about 100 metres from the lock on the other side of the island. We're not in the widest part of the island here, but uh, this, 9 kilos, so extremely easy to uh, lug over on my head and then go back for the bags. Wish I had this in Norway, <laughs> that would have made life easier. Wouldn't be able to fit all the food in though. I'm, um, planning a trip I think it's late May maybe a early June Simon should be there as well I'm seriously considering taking this I think it's for a few days so if I want to take some kind of fresh food I may uh, have to stash it in Simon's full length canoe but um, being like a uh, early summer trip I'll fit all my stuff in this fine for like three days or so um, I mean don't need much more than what I've got with me today I think it's a little early to be getting set up with the tent on a stealthy camp so I'm gonna go around and look for some firewood. There's a fire pit here, it's already been used so I don't feel bad about doing it again. I do have a um, stove but may as well enjoy it.
Can you hear that? The tractor that was on that side of the island has come all the way round to the field there. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be done after a while. Doesn't matter, it's still a lovely spot. The sun's out. What a beautiful day. Definitely heading towards spring here. Right by the water here, which is nice. Aeroplane tractor. <laughs> um, started getting some wood, some nice bits actually. I'm not sure what it is. It's a lot of hawthorn and stuff in here. There's kind of a bit of a, a loop track that's been carved out by people. But uh, I'm liking it so far. Well, I've got some first and second stage kindling here. This stuff is um, either a bit punky or old or thin, so I've put that in a pile. These are my good burners, hopefully. Uh, there's a big log under there that I'm not cutting with a um, Laplander. And a big old root system thing here that seems quite dry. This is the Van Gogh Helium 2. For the size, the weight and the money, it's the best kind of backpacking tent, I think. For going to light weight. got quite a nice pitch today, it's relatively flat. Got quite a lot of sand in the tent from the last time I used it on that beach. So that was the last summer. Been in the woods since really. You could probably still hear the uh, tractor in the field opposite over the river. Farmer's got a farm. <laughs> I eat enough, I should be appreciative. Got the Amok winter light mat in there. It's good in the winter, good R value. And almost as thick as my Thermarest, really, very comfy. The tractor's gone quiet. Hopefully he's done and not just adjusting something to start again. <laughs> well, I'm pretty much all ready. Tents all up, sleep systems out. Uh, got my firewood. Probably no more than half hour till sunset. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep the canoe how it is rather than pack it down. It's not windy in here or anything because it's quite a lightweight thing. Already caught the wind once on one of the um, locks. But I had an eye on it. But yeah. All good.
thought it'd be a good idea to move the kayak a bit further from the fire. It's kind of a plasticky kind of material, so I don't want it melting. <laughs> Fire's going well. That road's a little uh, noisier and busier than I expected from looking at the maps when I was mapping out the trip. But uh, it is what it is. You're never too far from a road in this country. <laughs> it's a nice spot though. I'm glad to have got out here. I've been meaning to uh, get up the river since uh, moving into this area. So what do you think of the kayak? It's pretty cool, isn't it? I've got on with it really well today. When they first contacted me, I hadn't even heard of a folding kayak like that, and it's a British company. Um, yeah, I was jumped right on it, because I haven't really got the room for a proper full-size canoe. Um, it allows me to get on the water pretty easily. Just straight in the back of the truck, straight out. Just carry it with one hand, nine kilos, nothing really. Apparently they can be folded 2,000 times, which is a fair few. Um, and they've also offered a discount to you guys, 15% off. I um, believe the uh, code is Kent. Um, yeah, this one's called the Lana, which is quite good for solo and putting some kit in it as well. But they've got tandem ones and stuff like that as well. But yeah, I look forward to getting out on it some more. I'm getting hungry. I'm just sitting here waiting for some good coals to cook on and I've got a wild beer pogo. I love this beer. You'll be seeing this on a few videos. I've got like a crate of them. <laughs> ah, it's nice. Twilight, my favourite time of the evening. If it wasn't for that road, I guess it is rush hour pretty much, it would be perfect. <laughs> pull some of these coals out, there's a lot of them. Ooh. Pan on with just a little bit of oil. And a piece of steak. Is that a flip? Time to get that bad boy off. I'm just going to lightly toast the ciabatta. Okay, just going to cut this into strips. And simple today. Ooh. Ooh, looks good. And there we have it, a beautiful steak sandwich. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, I've got a beer here. My second and last beer. Better have it with dinner. Built back up. 
got some warmth. Delicious. Oh, it was just a rump, but lovely. I prefer a rump over a sirloin or a fillet most of the time as well. It's got more flavour. Oh, nice simple dinner. <laughs> Minimal kit. Didn't really want to overload a kayak that uh, I wasn't too familiar with. I've got a chocolate bar though. I think it's a Yorkie. Oh, that's a hot, hot chocolate. And your key. <laughs> Been looking forward to this. A little sugar rush. Oh, I'm gonna drink this and probably get in my tent. I was thinking about the morning and it's gonna be a bit of a rush. I'll get up before seven to get the sunrise. Um, take stuff down. I think it's gonna take me a couple of hours to paddle home. I have to be back to where I started the slipway in a car park by 10 to 10. I'll paddle like the wind. Well, against the wind actually. <laughs> That's me in the tent. I think I'm in for the evening now. Them neoprene booties are a pain to get on and off, so I don't want to get back out <laughs> till the morning. See you guys then. Good morning. Simple bacon ciabatta for breakfast. I've already put away my sleeping bag and mat while I was waiting for the sun, which didn't really give me a sunrise. Got a bit overcast. <laughs> Rains are coming.
Well, thank you very much, guys, for watching. I'm sorry there wasn't too much footage this morning. Uh, like I said, a bit of a rush back. <laughs> But uh, all the information about the Koa Kayak is below with the uh, discount code as well. So check out their website. Pretty nifty invention. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye for now.